several different buttons on your steering wheel here. Um, we'll go through them step by step. So your top button here, which looks a little bit like a book, that controls what we see in the screen. So I'm just going to try and adjust my camera so you can see, excuse my fingers. So across the top of the screen there, you can see a little blue car. You've now got a little speedo dial, um, the lane keep assist, which if we press the button down on the right hand side, it's off or it's on standby. Your radio, what the radio is listening to, navigation, and then settings. Okay, so that's, that's all controlled from that little button that looks like a book. So we've gone back to the beginning now. So we're onto the little car and then this Whenever we get across to the, one of the sections at the top, that brings that into play. So that gives us a series of different screens. So at the moment, it's telling me how far I've got on the fuel, what the tire pressures are, what the average MPG has been. Um, it gives me a journey, start, stop time. When I'm driving it, uh, and we've got up to temperature, it will give us the PSI of the tires. It will give me a trip A and a trip B. Um, and again, uh, how long have I drive, driven and what fuel have I used? So that's all on the little blue car tab and then operated from here. Now pressing the blue tab again gives us a different sort of rev counter and speedo. And by flicking the little move button again, it gives us a different, different view. So we've got two different views there. Lane keep standby. It'll be either on or off. The radio will change which, whichever radio station you put on. Navigation. Right, so we've got different different screens here. We've obviously got, if I push that one, navigation on there. And we've got navigation on there. Now we can change which screen we see in between the steering wheel by moving this button. So I'll flick the button down. It gives us a bigger screen and you'll see that you've got a speedo up the right hand side and a rev counter up the left. Again, different picture again. A compass. And then your smaller screen with your normal, more traditional dials. So that is all done off of these two buttons. So if we press again, We've now gone on to the driver assist settings. So there are all bits on there that you can change how loud your indicators will be, um, bits and pieces like that. Um, the dashboard setting, display settings, vehicle settings. They're, they're all in there if you want to go playing. Obviously it's pretty well set up from the off, but if you do want to change anything or play a little play and investigate, then that's the area you need to be in. Just looking at this screen here, up the right hand side here we've got how much fuel's in the car. Down the bottom corner we've got the little white car with the lines in it, which I've just turned on and off, which is the lane keep assist. And then beside that we've got the little orange heated steering wheel. Going along the bottom we've got how many miles the car's done, what gear it's in, and the time of day and the temperature. And then going up the left hand side is the engine temperature. Um, it tells you if the handbrake is on at the top and if the seat belts are on. So to get rid of that handbrake is now off. Now we have got an auto hold button. So I'm going to press that now. And that light has come down in that bottom corner. So if we were going to drive along, I've now put it into gear. So I'm now in drive and the auto hold light has changed to green. That means that it's, it's holding, the, the brakes are holding on even though I'm not touching any of the buttons or levers. As soon as I go to accelerate, it changed to white. I've now pressed brake and it's gone on to auto hold again. So that will hold us in, in gear, set at a set of traffic lights until we need to move on.